Hi kids, in today's video we are going to start with chapter number 3 of mathematics which is about 100, tens and ones. So if you remember kids, we, of, we have already covered this topic tens and ones in previous chapter number 2. This time, with this tens and ones concept, we have to learn about 100. That if we have numbers in hundreds, how we are going to break them in ones, tens, and hundred. So let's start. Hamza has 10 blocks of 10. He is Hamza and he has 10 blocks of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. He has 10 blocks of 10. When he joins them together, it becomes 100. So we can say 10 blocks of 10. These are 10 blocks. Try to count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. These are 10 blocks. When we join them together, these 10 blocks, so 10 times 10 equals 100. So it becomes 100. So we can say that one block is 1, 1, which is a 1 unit. Set of 10 blocks or group of 10 blocks is 1, 10 because we have 10 blocks in one group. This is 1. But when we say we have set of 10 tens, these are 10 tens. These are 10 groups. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So these are 10 sets of 10 blocks. It becomes 100. So we have 1, 1, 1, 10 and 100. Let's try to practice it on the next page. Here in this exercise, we have to count and write hundreds, tens and ones. The first one has been done for us. So kids, we remembered, we have here one set of ten blocks. No, we don't have any one set of ten blocks. That's why we have written zero tens. Right, we have ten tens over here. This is ten groups or sets of 10 blocks. That's why we have written 100s. And we don't have any single unit. That's why we have written 0 ones. So we have only 100s means 10 sets of 10 blocks. In the next one, we have 1 and 2 sets of 10 blocks. It means we have 1 and 2 hundreds. So we are supposed to write 2 over here. And similarly, we don't have any single set or any single unit. So we are going to write 0 in tens and 0 in ones. In the next part, we have 1, 2, 3, means 3 hundreds, 0 tens and 0 ones. Similarly, in the next one, we have 1, 2, 3 and 4. It means we have 4 hundreds, 0 tens and 0 ones. So kids, this is 1, 2, 3 and 4, means we have 4 hundreds, 0 tens and 0 ones. Kids, in the last one, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. It means we have 5 hundreds, 0 tens, and 0 ones. Let's try another example. What if we have one more set of 10 blocks? Let's just, let me just draw it for you. Kids, just consider it as one set of 10 blocks. Okay, 
so what what we are going to write now one two three four five it means we are going to write five hundreds we have one set of ten blocks it means we have one ten and zero one so how we are going to write this as five one and zero why have why we have written one over here because we just tried to write uh, to just understand using another example considering this yellow line as one set of 10 blocks so just as an example we assume this yellow line as one set of 10 blocks that's why we have written one tens over here so kids i hope you enjoyed today's fun based concept activity i'll be back with some more activity and videos till then take care of yourselves and bye